Welcome to TYT Sports. Ben and uh, Michael with you. It's a special edition that I'm joining of What the Puck. Yeah, exactly. Um, it is, it's, uh, it's What the Puck, and, and we don't generally have Ben here for What the Puck. Um, so last night, uh, game four of the Stanley Cup Finals, you said it uh, interestingly that the Rangers, who really outplayed the Kings in the first three games, in, for much of those games, were actually sort of outplayed in game four, yeah. yet the Rangers finally get a win. The Rangers finally got a win. It was exciting to see uh, because it was at the Garden. Being down 3 nothing. the fact that they could come out and actually be kind of up for the game. A lot of people were thinking, uh, they had a skate the, the day before in New York, and, and the reporters were saying that the Rangers just seemed totally down. They did not seem like a team that was up for the game. The next morning, of course, they're up, and, and, and Brad Richards said, what, what do you want us to be? I mean, we were, we've lost three games. You know, we can't the, pretend. The, the way that sports journalists, of which we are, or sports reporters, people who pay attention talk about sports, get stuff wrong about momentum. Momentum is felt by the fans yeah. much more than it is felt by players. These are professionals, yeah. and bummed as they were, and distraught, as he said, well, of course we're bummed out, we're down 3 yeah. nothing." When the puck drops, they're hockey players, exactly. and they're, they're not thinking, I'm not going to go after that hard. We're down three nothing. You know <laughs> yeah, that just doesn't. That's, no, and it, and of course, true. and one goal. And I didn't, going up as soon as they're up one nothing. All of a sudden, they're like, oh, well, oh great. Yeah, it's right. Great. Exactly. Now we might win the now cup. We might uh, win, right. But but here, you know, I I had the good fortune of getting to know some players at one point in my life. I don't. They don't play anymore, and it totally changes your view of sports. It, it totally confirms what you just said or affirms what you just said. It's really true. Uh, they have no connection at all to what's going on in the media. It's not that they don't pay attention to it, but the media says something like, yeah, they, they seem down. Yeah, they're not they, down. They're not down. Uh, in, in, in a given game, particularly in football, I think you can depress a team, and there is such, a, certainly there is such a thing as momentum, but man, do we make yeah. too much of it. Right. Uh, and certainly not in a series now, and the Rangers, right, by the way, I'm sure right now, the Rangers feel pretty good. Yeah. And they're one win in Los Angeles away from getting back in the series. From getting back in the series. And you have to remember the Kings were down 3 nothing to the Sharks in the first series. It's happened in it, the, it's happened in no it's happened in in, in NBA once or never in the NBA, excuse me, one time in baseball, but it happens in it's hockey. Happened it can four be four times in hockey. I First time five. in 1952 was, was Toronto in the finals and then uh, there were three other cases of it happening. The Bruins So it's not did inconceivable it enough. For whatever reason, it can yeah. happen in hockey and it almost can't in other sports. In, in other sports. And for some reason it does. Um, and, and in any case, the, the Rangers uh, came very very close to losing that game or having the game tied up. Uh, an unbelievable force of luck and, and I I point you to a tweet also from Peter J. Vallone Jr., the son of Peter Vallone, a New York City uh, uh, City Council president at one time, uh, who said that uh, finally, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to say it verbatim, but we'll show it to you verbatim. Uh, he came up with this tweet uh, that said uh, the, the puck was stopped by snow. Uh, finally, there's a benefit to not plowing the snow in New York. <laughs> to, you know, that, that was the gist of it, uh, and, and we'll show you the tweet. Taking a uh, shot at de Blasio. Look, yeah, taking a <laughs> shot at de Blasio and Bloomberg, I yeah. mean, as well. Uh, it, the puck went through the legs of Lundqvist, uh, and, then, and then you saw Derek Stepan sort of push it underneath uh, Lundqvist after that. Uh, it, it looked like you're not allowed to cover up the puck with your hand if you're a player, uh, otherwise you get a penalty shot. At first glance, he didn't. He pushed it under uh, underneath uh, the goaltender. But then you see his hands come in, and it looked as if he did, and they missed that call. In any case, it wasn't a tying goal. I've never seen anything like it. The puck was about to go into the net, if not for a little bit of snow right there that stopped it from going I in. I suppose it's true in baseball. It's definitely not true in basketball, although a little. That in the playoffs, in this heightened degree of competition, it doesn't make sense that stranger things would happen. It makes more sense that we're paying closer attention to the strange things. Yeah. And if the Canucks are playing the Penguins in the 38th game of the season and this happens, nobody sits around and hashes it out significantly right. afterwards. Right. That said, uh, being a novice NHL fan, the, it seems like very strange stuff very consistently happens as cl the closer we get to the Stanley Cup Finals. And, and around the goal. And around, around the goal, like stuff that has people yeah. talking about it for days. 
it can't really be the case, but it really seems no, like No, I mean, it. these goalie interference calls happen all year long, uh, and, and it is a judgment call. You're not allowed to review it, which is a problem because the NHL does have review right now. Something like this was pretty anomalous, the snow stopping. I mean, when I played, you know, if I played hockey on a pond, that stuff would happen because there was actually snow, snow there, right. you know. And you see goalies come out before the game starts, and they're kicking up snow. They're kicking up snow, and you're, why are they doing that? Is it just sort of a custom? Well, Henrik Lundqvist proved to us why exactly you do that last night. So, so, uh, it, so there's a, they know it can slow the puck at times. They know that it can slow the puck. It is, it is a friend to a goalie. It can't hurt. It's right. not going to do anything bad to the goaltender. Uh, what has to be talked about, though, is the Kings came on uh, with a barrage last night, and Lundqvist really kept them in the game. And, and I think that you know the Kings are, seem to have the stamina. They have the guns. Gabrick and Kopitar, uh, Anze Kopitar, who is the, you know, he's the alternate captain, one of the alternate captains for the Kings. But really, I would say one of the top five players in the NHL right now. Some people think he's the best. Um, and he has not been productive in the playoffs. Last night, he came on in the third period. They, I think they outshot the Kings. I think, I, mean, I think the Rangers maybe had three shots in the third period. Uh, final thing before we go, you're going to Game 5. You're a yep. lifelong Ranger fan. You'd obviously like to see the Rangers win the Cup. But going to Game 5 and you're taking your son, my godson, to the game. By the way, it's okay. You can take my godson to the game. Thanks. Cool. I, yeah, yeah, I was sure. going to ask. A, I mean, it's a school night, but whatever. You just take well, it. I was going to call his godmother. <laughs> <laughs> see if I could. Um, but you really can't lose because if you see the Kings win back in the series, possibility of Game 7 and this dramatic coming back from 3-0 to win the Cup. And But if the Kings win... You see it came when the Stanley Cup on their home ice, and as you were saying, no other sport has a thing like the Stanley Cup or the tradition or the player handshakes, all the things that, yeah. that and, and Owen would love to see that. Yeah, it would be a I, great hockey thing. does the post game better than any sport, I think, in, in ter- especially in the playoffs. So you won't be that, I mean, you'll root for the, King, for the Rangers, and if they lose, eh, that'll be fun too. I'll see the Cup. Right. I mean, there's something about seeing the Cup yeah. and seeing them, you know, what they do in the NHL, they hold it up and they pass it around, and so that's really exciting. Uh, you know, guys to watch, I think Kopitar's gonna wake up tomorrow. Uh, before we go, I think Kopitar's gonna wake up for the Kings, that's gonna be a problem. Rick Nash has to answer. Rick Nash has to be productive. If he doesn't score tomorrow night, I don't think the Rangers can win. He has to wake up because I think they're going to be seeing the, 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 the defense of the Rangers is slower than the offense of the Kings, and I think that that's just going to play out. So odds are? Kings. Odds are I think the Kings, Kings win. I mean, I said Kings in five. Uh, I don't want to be right. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> All right. Thank you.